chest up, shoulders back. Welcome to Revival Fitness, everybody. So a lot of you probably know that every now and then YouTube will just recommend old videos to a million people at a time for some reason. I came across this video, High School Fitness 1962. So we're gonna break down this video and we're gonna see why ultimately we're kind of doomed. So let's get into it. A California high school has the well-nigh perfect answer to the president's call for physical fitness. Stan Laprati, physical education director at La Sierra High School, has developed a program that assures every student of physical excellence. All right, so right off the bat, look how in shape every single one of these guys is. Do you see one overweight kid in this entire picture? What do you think the average high school looks like today? I mean, we know that 75% of Americans are overweight. Now that accounts for adults more so, but I mean, you, you guys can see, I'm sure a lot of you are high school age right now. You look at these old images and stuff, not just even kids, but people in general. 50, 60 years ago, guys, there was like nobody overweight. That just was barely even a thing. Everybody now is overweight. It's just, the shift we've taken in the past 50 years has been crazy. Exercise on the grip swing puts muscles on the least athletic. Extension push-ups are among the toughest of the drills. I'll be honest, I didn't look like this when I was in high school. I was kind of skinny fat myself. As an incentive to excel, the color of the shorts the boys wear is determined by their ratings on performance charts. Some requirements for top ratings are stricter than for Annapolis plebes. There we go. You know what the moderator just said? The color of the boys' shorts is indicative of their progress and their status. So essentially, these kids are going to be judged and graded based on who's better than who. That alone wouldn't fly today. There would be parents on Good Morning America sitting there, oh my, this is offensive to my child. There'd be GoFundMes, oh, I, I was bullied by the in-shade kids in my school, right? All this stuff. Everybody's got flaws in some capacity, guys. And we're at the point in society now where if you even work to improve your flaws, right? I mean, we saw it with Adele. Adele lost a bunch of weight and she still got shamed. Oh, losing weight isn't healthy because it makes fat people feel bad about themselves. It's like, that's the point we're at. Think about if this happened today, okay? These guys are in good shape. They have no shirts on. They're doing all these crazy exercises. This would be called fat shaming. I mean, they'd probably have members of Congress having hearings about this. Students of size, right? Feeling secure about themselves. I don't know if you guys have seen that TED talk. I don't know the name of the general, but it's US Army general, and he's talking about how obesity is a national security issue. I'm not saying doomsday or anything. I'm not trying to make this like this political strategy type video, but just think about it. If some war pops off, I mean, thank God our military budget in America is so high because otherwise we're done. We have no chance. Our population is not ready to physically defend ourselves. Again, if you had to remove all the weapons and all the technology, we'd have no chance. We'd be done. And man, I don't know. We're, we're falling far, guys. So if you're somebody who wants to take responsibility for your health, your fitness, mentally, physically, if you want to get on the right track, subscribe to this channel. Let's improve together. I can help you get in shape. We can get muscles. We can lose fat. We can have a healthier diet. You don't have to, you don't have to succumb there. Oh, oh, I'll just be fat for my whole life or I'll just be out of shape my whole life because I make people feel bad. Screw them. Do you. All for free. All you got to do is watch some ads once I can finally monetize these videos. So thank you for watching. Be sure to drop any questions or comments you have below or to say anything to help the algorithm. And I will catch you guys next time.